Hey everybody, Lucier here, bringing you another Pokemon opening, but today is going to be another product review. So today we're going to be specifically reviewing the Galarian Rapidash V-Box here on the channel. So if you're not interested in the box itself and just that the cards that are in it, just skip ahead about 60 seconds and you'll get to the pack openings. But I do want to do a proper review of this box because I was uh, really happy with it. So the packaging for it, something that's going to be lost through YouTube but is worth mentioning, is on the front, like all through here, and then along the back, like all through here, there's actually like a texture. Listen. <laughs> uh, there's a texture on here where they have like all of these sparkles. It's very like, it's very My Little Pony, if we're being honest, like it, it's very My Little Pony, but um, that's kind of the Galarian Rapid Ashes thing. Instead of being all fiery, it's like some sort of My Little Pony <laughs> princess or something, but it, it looks cool. It still has like this mean look on it. Like I might look beautiful, but I'm gonna jack you up. But I really like the packaging of this, and so I've got two of these to open up just so that we have, you know, more in the way of packs. But let's take a closer look at the promo cards. Okay, so speaking of promo codes, here is the TCGO promo code, and here is the promo card. So as far as promo codes go, promo cards go... Uh, I think this one is really cool. So again, it's a, <laughs> it's a really pretty character, but it's still got that like, I'm going to mess you up look on its face, but there's a lot going on in the background. It's very, uh, it's a very busy card, but it, it's not, it's not too busy and it's definitely really cool looking. And then of course there's the exact same thing, but giant and uh, it looks really good. Look at the eye. The eye like, really shines along with the background. That looks really cool. I actually think the big one almost looks better, honestly. I think the details of the cards, you know, some of the bigger cards, like, I could go either way. But with this one, I think the size of the card really helps it to kind of pop off. Like, that looks really cool. So, anyway, that is the promo cards. And then for the packs... Uh, they've been doing this lately with a lot of products where it's not all battle styles, even though that's the new hotness. So there's two battle style packs. That's what the front two packs are. But then behind that is a Darkness Ablaze and a Rebel Clash pack, which I'm actually pretty excited about because uh, I have not completed my Rebel Clash set. Uh, it's close, but it's not complete. And it's getting really difficult to find retail Rebel Clash stuff. You know, I can find it on eBay and stuff like anything. But it's hard to find retail, which means that it is starting to get a little pricey. Okay, so I'm going to get to the card openings here. And I'm going to mix it up since there's only... I, I had two of them, obviously, so I have eight packs. But since... Two of them were battle styles, and then there was one Darkness Ablaze and one of the Rebel Clash. Every pack is going to be like mixed up, so we're going to jump around a lot. Right now we're doing battle styles, and Lightning Energy is going to kick us off today. Okay, so Energy, Ball Ball, Energy Strike, Spoink, Holy Holy, Finish. Esper, Blipbug, Celadant is my reverse, and a Vivillion. Viv Vivillion. Vivillion. Darkness Ablaze next. There's your code. Darkness Ablaze code. Dark Energy this time. But yeah, it is getting kind of difficult, even for the Darkness Ablaze. It's getting hard to, like, it's not popping up as much in 
my retail stuff. Obviously, it's not like the current main thing that's being collected, so I get that to a point. But I'm still working on it, so... And I try to avoid purchasing things outside of retail if I can if if I can avoid it, but it is getting more and more difficult. So we're doing another battle styles. Mr. Bouflant, Crawdunt, Crop Pig, Glamiao, Copish, Scatterbug, Kubone, Recrow. Prime Ape is my reverse. And oh, a Necrozma V? Necrozma V? I don't know this. I, I have never. So that's actually one of the only like regular V cards I don't have. So I'm excited to get that for sure, but I I am not very familiar with this character. Necrozma? Necrozma? I'm sure I'm butchering that. Which one is it, babe? Necrozma? Alright. So I will take that. It's, it's, it's a V-card. I don't have it yet. I have almost all of the V-cards for... Battle Styles. Battle Styles is very completed. Like, that's a very complete set for me. So, anytime I get any card for that that I don't have is very exciting. But Rebel Clash. Rebel Clash, I, although, is not my... It, for the longest time, Rebel Clash was my most completed set. Now Battle Styles is. But... Rebel Clash still remains to be one of my most completed sets, and I'm definitely still hunting for a lot of cards for this. So we got Milo for the reverse, and a Vickle Volt for the rare. Nothing too crazy there. Okay, Last Darkness Ablaze. As I'm sure you all know, there is a... Charmander in Darkness of Blaze, so I'm always happy to open a Darkness of Blaze set. You know, with Rebel Class, there's not really any major chase cards that people are, like, super into. Um, most of the more, like, valuable cards in Rebel Class are actually trainer cards, not Pokemon. And I think currently the most valuable card you can get in Rebel Clash, yeah, is... Um, like 40 or 50 bucks. So there's nothing too crazy in that set, but uh, it was the first set that I started opening when I got back into Pokemon cards. That was like one of the more recent sets that was out when I started getting back into collecting Pokemon cards. So it kind of has like a soft spot in my heart, even if it's not as sought out by other people. I seek it out, which in the in in the past has made it uh, actually not too bad for me because the packs tend to be a little bit cheaper than some others because there's no chase cards in it. Like people don't charge as much for it, but like I was saying earlier in the video, right now they're getting kind of silly because they're getting older. So we got a reverse for the Tep Pig and a Victini V. So we did pretty good on the battle styles because there was only four packs. And out of four packs, we got two V cards. So that's pretty solid. Nothing like too insane. It's not like we're getting full arts and stuff. But I mean, if you're going to open four packs and you're going to get two Vs, not bad. We're not, we haven't gotten anything crazy out. We didn't, we didn't get, because we're out of them. We didn't get anything crazy out of the Darkness of Blaze. 
but maybe Rebel Clash will come through for us. But we're only doing two packs of each. Nothing crazy. It's a quick video today because I really wanted to review these collection boxes. So it's not like I can't get super high hopes on two packs from a set, but Hatterene, at least it's a, uh, at least it's a hollow. So, uh, my review, let's review the cards first really quick. Those are the two decent pulls that we got. So my review for the product is, it's totally worth it. Like most of these collection boxes, uh, you're paying if you're if you're buying at retail. So at twenty dollars retail, even if you just consider the cards, uh, the packs, and you don't care about the promo cards, that only averages out to five dollars a pack. Which for how difficult it is to get Pokemon cards right now, five dollars a pack is pretty good. But you do get these really cool promo cards that I really like. So I mean, I I think it's totally worth it to get this. The only downfall to it, I would say, is that, again, not everybody is still looking for cards in Darkness Ablaze, and probably much fewer still are looking for cards out of Rebel Clash. So, if you don't care about Rebel Clash, then maybe this isn't as worth it. But, I mean, even if you're just looking for, like, the battle style packs, like, I would at least get one of these just so you can get the promo card, you can get the battle style packs. And then you could always maybe trade the Rebel Clash pack to one of your friends or something like that for a pack of something else that you are looking for. Who knows? Um, but yeah, so I would say it's worth it to at least get one. And this is popping up in a lot of retail stores um, at the time of recording this. And I think by the time of posting it, they'll still be available here and there. So see if you can grab one for yourself. But thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate the view and support as always. And I will see you in the next one.